Welcome back. We're here with Tori Sinai, um, founder of Partners in Digital Health, a forward-reaching publishing and communications company. Tori is the publisher of the first international peer-reviewed journal, Blockchain and Healthcare Today, as well as the Telehealth and Medicine Today uh, journal. Tori, thank you for spending time with us. It's a pleasure being here. Thank you. Um, in uh, speaking earlier, before we got on camera, you, you referred to this year as your year of traction. It is. Tell me about how much progress you've made this year. We have most definitely turned the corner. Um, as a uh, startup, it can be very, very difficult indeed. However, this year has felt like we have just um, exploded. With uh, We just brought on and announced a new editor-in-chief, Dr. Amar Gupta from MIT. Very, very blessed indeed, both uh, disruptor and humanitarian, extremely talented man. And he joins Dr. John Halamka over at Harvard. Absolutely fabulous blockbuster team. We have a um, internationally renowned uh, board, editorial board on both journals, both the blockchain and the telehealth journal. Um, and uh, we also actually um, have now the endorsement of the American Telemedicine Association, the ATA. And we carry their logo quite proudly um, on both our home pages. We ha are now collaborating with uh, HIMSS and their blockchain task force on the blockchain journal. And we're introducing a, a new column, editorial column. Um, that's HIMSS and, oh, of course, the IEEE. Um, and we just announced earlier this month a new um, ICADE. It's a, a work group that uh, we have begun, international work group. And that's on the um, harmonization of technology for remote clinical trials. And that has many, many people around the globe actually very, very excited because this is something that we have all been waiting for for quite a long time now. And we're looking at um, using technology very prudently, um, but in uh, injecting this new technology into traditional clinical trials and so we're expecting that it'll um, really um, shorten the progression of the trials, if you will, lower the cost, bring new drugs to market quicker, um, and just uh, uh, all sorts of fantastic things will happen, and, and we're all looking truly very forward to it. And hopefully help companies realize when they're not going down the right path. And, and Faster, and use yes. Their, use their resources. Uh, much use their precious wiser. resources much more wiser. Most definitely, yes. Pretty good year. That'd be a pretty good five years for most people. That's a good year for you. <laughs> it is, uh, yes. And uh, tell us about your passions. You've been, you've had so much experience across publishing, um, across clinical trials management. Um, what drives you? All in healthcare. Um, what drives me is the horizon line. What's next? Um, what we should expect what's going to impact the marketplace, um, what is going to affect patients. Um, me, personally, I don't have health insurance. I am not an N of one. I know that I am an N of millions. And um, more and more patients um, are becoming non-insurance card carriers. Right. And um, my pharmacist tells me this every time I go into that big box pharmacy. And uh, he's not at all surprised anymore. I, he was when I first told him, oh, no, I don't have insurance. This is out of pocket. And now when I come in, oh, Tori, you know what? More and more people are coming in now. Yeah, no kidding. Um, so it's far beyond e epidemic. And we're all finally on the same team now. Um, and so we're all gunning toward the same end game. Um, and I think technology and innovation plays a huge role in that. But um, my horizon line ends with the patient. How is the patient impacted financially? Um, because that really is what's most important to them. Their decisions are based on, can I afford this or not? Um, just as I base my decision on, can I afford this or not? Everyone's circumstance is different. And healthcare is, has heart, um, and we need to show ours.
Is that perhaps why, if you go back a couple of years, um, the only tangible use case for blockchain that most people were aware of was cryptocurrency? Oh, and, and I wouldn't had, use that as a case use right. at all. And it had, it had fits and starts, obviously. Um, still, people are still thinking about it. The SEC is still trying to figure out whether those offerings are securities or not. Uh, healthcare seems to be uh, a, an avenue that optimizes multiple um, industry expertise needs. Um, we spoke, we've spoken today with healthcare professionals, we've spoken today with technologists, we've spoken today with economists. Mm. We've spoken about incentives and about aligning incentives. Uh, so does that make you optimistic about, about what we can do in healthcare with blockchain? Oh, no doubt whatsoever. That's why I launched the journal. Um, and believe me, I was told I was out of my mind and that I would fail. Not so much. Um, and we continue to prove them wrong. And now it's, uh, you know, still we're in our infancy with over uh, 100,000, you know, abstract views and, and downloads. And literally, we just launched the journal yesterday, if you look at the timeline, um, with uh, well over 70 citations. And that's rather unheard of for a journal just out of the gate, a peer review journal, mind you, an academic journal just out of the gate. So our standard is far higher than others. Um, so really, um, the trajectory and the, the track record um, is quite remarkable. Well, that's terrific. The world, tra the world uh, tra trail blazer is thrown around rather loosely, but but you are a trailblazer, Tori. We like to walk our talk, and um, I think you've seen that at the conference today. You've seen that with our speakers today. You've seen that with the content today. Um, and uh, this is the standard that we set, and what our reputation um, is built upon and what we are recognized for. May the year ahead be as wonderful as the year behind. Thank you, so Thank you so very much. much. Thank you very, very much. It's my pleasure again. The 2019 Converge to Accelerate conference is brought to you by IEEE, the world's largest technical professional organization for the advancement of technology. Bollinger Ingelheim, passionately working to improve healthcare. NASCO, advancing digital health together. Ipsy US, the Association of Independent Workers, for one, for all. Partners in Digital Health, publishers of the forward-reaching blockchain in Healthcare Today and Telehealth and Medicine Today. Special consideration to iWorker Innovations, taking the independent workforce to new heights. Connected Health Conference, designing for healthy habits and better outcomes. Haven Health Solutions, providing true blockchain transactional interoperability. Special thanks to Seaport World Trade Center for hosting us. And a special thanks to 1800 Public Relations for all your PR and media support. We'll be right back after these messages. Don't go away.